الشاب مصري يحمل اسم روني خليل ويعيش في أمريكا أتى بزيارة الكويت ليقدم عرض كوميدي الكوميديا أصبح لها عروض شوفوها بهذا التقرير Hi, my name is Ronnie Khalil. I'm an Egyptian-American stand-up comedian, and I'm here in Kuwait performing and uh, just meeting people and having a great time. It's my first time in Kuwait, but I've toured uh, in Dubai, Egypt, Jordan. I'm going to Beirut next week, so uh, things are I've definitely toured around. <laughs> Sometimes I think my parents want me to get married so badly, they're just going to throw me a surprise wedding. <laughs> I'll be in the supermarket, all of a sudden a girl wearing white will walk down the grocery aisle. My parents will pop out like, surprise! You know, I think they're pretty open to my comedy. Um, at first, you know, after 9-11, there was a lot of subjects which, you know, we couldn't talk about and we were very scared to mention, uh, you know, the whole Middle Eastern connection. But, you know, now, uh, quite a few years later, I think they're, they're excited to learn about the Middle East. Like, just because they're Arabic numerals doesn't mean you can use them wherever you want. You got that seven, BB? Well, I'm uh, trying to organize a show right now in Beirut, and I have a show in Cairo on June 11th. And I just had a couple of shows here, so, you know, and then back to the United States for, for some more shows. I mean, I-N-E-D, L-I-N-E-D. You guys know that one? From this eye to this eye. It means like they're pleased to do something for you, but it's always in the weirdest times. Like I ordered a sandwich at a restaurant, he's like, sandwich from this eye to this eye. My favorite joke to perform, I don't know, it always changes because it depends what mood I'm in or sometimes I'll write a new joke and I'm very excited to perform it. So that'll be my favorite joke for a couple of weeks and then I come up with a new joke and I forget about the old joke. It's kind of like, you know, when you have a new toy and you play with it and then you get that newer toy and now he's, your old toy's the bad toy and you start beating him up with the new toy. That's kind of the way it is with my jokes. Like, my pronunciation isn't that good, you know? It wouldn't matter what I say, I'd be like, ah, oh, she's like, ah, it's so good. One time I had a woman say, it's so good, lean to the person next to her, them should be wala kilma. Yeah, I have jokes that I do in America that I would never do here, and I have jokes here that would never translate to the United States. So really, depending on where you see me and what my mood is, it could be a completely different show. Traffic is insane in the Middle East. It's like one lane of traffic with like four lanes of cars and then six lanes of parking on each side. And the only way you can get out is by pushing 17 cars, right, like forward and then pushing them back. And you have this like little space to get out of. And the whole time there's some homeless guy like, Mashi, Mashi, Tyler, Mashi. He's not even looking at you. He's like, Mashi, Mashi, Tyler, Mashi, Kefaya. I've been uh, doing a lot of, taking a lot of acting classes and I've done some television stuff and I'm actually working on my first feature-length movie right now. It's a romantic comedy that I wrote, and I'm going to be the star of that. Egyptian women, very overdramatic. You guys see it in the soap operas all the time. I thought it was just for TV. Apparently, it's real. <laughs> now, if you don't know what Elehwi is, it's kind of like a Middle Eastern breakdown, OK? And when you get really bad news, the Arab woman always stares at you and goes, Elehwi! <laughs> I knew about that. But what I didn't know is there's different stages to the Yalehwi. That's only stage one, but there's a second stage of the Yalehwi. And that's when the news is a little bit worse. Basically, they clutch their chest and begin to beat themselves over the head before screaming it. It's always like... Yalehwi! Which I thought was the extent of it. But apparently there's a third stage to the Yalehwi. I like to call it the Yalehwi Overture <laughs> for its sheer artistry and passion. This is when the news is so horrific, she begins to look for someone that isn't there, mumbling the words, Le, Le, Le Rabbi Le, which means why, why, why God, why? And then with one final Yalehwi, she'll point to the air and pass out a la Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. The Laugh for a Change Tour is a concept I came up with to sort of give back to the Middle East and help get young men and women together to, to make social change. And what it is, is 
I'm trying to organize a bunch of comedy events throughout the Middle East. And what happens is the students, they go to the show, and as payment, they work on a community service initiative to help improve their community.